home values are in, with some spiking up to 250 percent. That's pretty significant. It's good for resale, but it has a lot of people asking if they'll see a similar spike in their taxes. You could stay the same. You could go up. You could go down. Tonight, we're with commissioners as they debate that very question and showing you which neighborhoods could see the biggest jump. Starting today, you can go online and find out if your house is now worth more or less than it was in 2013. Now that's the number the city and the county use when they charge you property tax. Channel 9's government reporter Joe Bruno is live. He's at the county commission retreat where commissioners spent today debating your tax rate. Joe? Despite the eye-popping numbers that many are seeing for these uh, revaluation notices, it's really key. The whole key to all this is the tax rate. That will determine whether you pay more or less next year. Now, I've been with the county over the past two days. I've been hearing a lot about their lofty goals, and it's clear it's going to take more of your tax dollars in order to fund them. Absolutely uncertainty. That's exactly it. Roger Snyder is a realtor. He knows a thing or two about property revaluation. But even he was surprised to find out his son's home in Plaza Midwood is jumping 130% in value. Um, the gut reaction is that's pretty significant. Mecklenburg County commissioners will decide whether his son and hundreds of thousands of other people will pay more or less in property taxes. It all comes down to the tax rate. Commissioners can make it revenue neutral, meaning the county generates the same amount of money as last year. That doesn't necessarily mean your tax bill stays the same. It could go up or down depending on the new value of your home. But as the budget director told commissioners, new initiatives can't be introduced with this level of funding. Chair George Dunlap says with lofty goals like universal pre-K expansion, expedited greenway funding, and contributions for affordable housing, many people should expect to pay more. And I'll just be honest with people, uh, the likelihood of, of a revenue neutral tax rate is probably slim to none. Dunlap is encouraging his colleagues to show political will when it comes to setting the tax rate. Vice Chair Elaine Powell says many of the people she represents have been clear they don't want the rate higher than what it needs to be. If we need more money than revenue neutral, I think we need to be like, crystal clear in what that is and get community input before we go forward. Well, Joe, the county does these revals once every eight years, and the neighborhoods seeing sticker shock this time around are different than the ones who saw those big jumps at the last one they did. Yeah, well, there are a lot of issues with that last revaluation, and uh, we took a look in the archives. Most of the people bringing those issues to our attention, as well as the counties, they lived in northern Mecklenburg and South Charlotte neighborhoods like Myers Park. But take a look at this. This is a heat map created by the county showing uh, all the values of the homes. Pay attention to the orange and red. That's where the biggest increases are. You can see a lot of East Charlotte neighborhoods like Noda, Plaza Midwood, Villa Heights, even some parts of West Charlotte. With this revaluation, the co county economist says his biggest worry is for people who live in affordable housing. Scott. Yeah, yeah. Joe, thank you. Joe reporting for us live from the county commission retreat in Greensboro tonight.